went to Target to buy a vacuum. Hell yeah, for cleanliness. So I just went to Walmart to buy one of these Cokes to make a video for, a review, and then I bought this. I wasted $44 in all of them for four sodas, one macaroni and cheese, and one of these, and then one of those. So $44 for like 10 stuff, wow. All right, so I just came back from an interview at TJ Maxx, as you just saw, and I got hired on the spot, but the downside is that I'm gonna get paid $12 an hour, which is just pathetic. It's pennies. But hey, I'm gonna take the job because at the moment, I don't have a job right now. I'm not working, but I'm still gonna look for other jobs. I'm kinda pissed though, because it's not that far out. It's only 20 minutes away, 23 plus traffic i'm gonna be stalking and that's pretty much it what i'm gonna do i better not do anything else like, like they better not make me fucking go to a cashier on all the trucks stalking and this other shit for 12 dollars because if they do that i'm out the interviewer was like i hope i'm making a good decision and that you don't leave or quit or do anything bad i'm like bro calm the fuck down it's 12 dollars an hour you probably don't get punished if i quit or just don't come back i was supposed to go to another interview but since i got hired here i'm like nah fuck the interview so this stray cat had a kitty over there it gave birth and so it's over here hiding not hiding but like chilling if you can see all right so what's up you guys so i just came back from an interview at all these it's my second interview the first one was a group interview the second one it was like a one-on-one -on -one with a store manager and me honestly i feel like i aced that shit i am i don't want to say i'm pretty certain but like it's pretty high pretty likely that i'm gonna be qualified to go for my third interview and it's pretty likely that i'm gonna get hired there the thing is i'm gonna work at macy's as well and uh, i don't know which store which company will get me either macy's or aldi's but macy's i'm gonna get paid 15 dollars and at aldi's i'm going to make 16 dollars and 20 cents which is pretty goddamn good where i'm from i'm from texas that amount of money is pretty good with me either way all right so it's my first day of orientation at macy's i'm supposed to be here at 12. it's currently 12 12 but the reason why i haven't gone in yet is because i'm still waiting on the guy that's supposed to do orientation he comes in at 12 30 and so why the fuck am i here at 12. why the fuck does it link or whatever told me to come here at 12 if the guy who does orientation doesn't get here till 12 30 like what the fuck and i really don't want to be here to be honest but hey i need the money all right so i just came back i was only there for like two hours because uh something went wrong with my assignments tasks online to do You know, you guys, what makes me so irritated and angry is that stores like Macy's, Dillard's, Ross, uh, TJ Maxx, these stores don't have their shit together because I've literally just wasted my time at orientation at Macy's. I didn't get paid for like my one hour and 30 minutes that I was there. And I'm not coming back because I'm not gonna fucking deal with all that shit. I knew it was a red flag when I applied to this job at Macy's and I already got hired without going to a goddamn interview. <laughs> like that should have been a red flag for me, but you know, I am desperate for a job at the moment. This job hunting is just really fucking irritating like at this point because um, I got promised a job at TJ Maxx and I still haven't gotten a response from them at all. All they needed from me was a simple background check, which I already did twice and they still haven't fucking contacted me at all for a job or for like orientation and so now i'm just like unemployed again like what the fuck and then at all these they already looked for someone else which you know again irritating since i already went to like two goddamn interviews for that job it doesn't even pay like 17 dollars an hour 
All right, guys, so I just went to an interview at Albertsons, which I don't know if I got the job or not. The dude literally didn't even ask for my job history. All he said was, uh, what do you like and what do you like to do? I told him what I like to do and what am I like. And uh, I told him I currently am working at Target. And he was like, all right, I like you. Uh, you're gonna get hired and uh, eventually by tomorrow or by later today, you're gonna get contacted by my manager. And now I'm like, am I gonna come in for a fucking second interview for 14 or $13? Or am I gonna get hired already? Like, what the hell? And then tomorrow I have another interview at Tom Thumb. And then on Thursday, today's Monday, I have an interview at Lowe's. So I have three interviews coming up, which I already finished one of them. So that makes two. It's October 28th, right? Actually, I think it's the 30th now. And uh, I am racing to get a job because I know by November there's not going to be a lot of jobs that are willing to hire people since I already got what they needed last month or early September. So it's November 8th. I'm walking on my dog and I got this in the mail, some Legos. And I haven't vlogged in a little bit because I've been super busy. I applied at Target and I got the job at Target once again. So I'll be, I would be working at Target twice in one year. In the span of the last four or five years, I worked at Target like four times, which is pretty amazing. And I'm so happy, but the only downside is that it's it's going to be a seasonal position, which means I'm not going to be there for the long term. But if I really bust my ass and show them I'm a good worker, then they're going to keep me for a permanent role, which I am going to do. And uh, hopefully they'll keep me, but there's a good chance I might stay there for the long term. And yeah, and so I'm going to make more Target videos since a lot of you guys enjoy watching my Target vlogs. Hopefully in the future i'll you know have a great successful career at target or even on this youtube grind but eventually hopefully i'll get monetized soon and it's wild because just last year i needed like around three thousand more hours just to be monetized and now we're at 900 hours which is pretty amazing i'm just excited for the future and what's to come so see ya